What's going on, everyone? That's so so stupid. What's going on, everybody? What's up, everybody? This is part two or section two of the little um, stories from the stairwell or stories from the stairs or something from the something. Tales from the tipping point. I don't know. We're going to go into part two of this little series that I have going on. If you guys haven't um, checked it out, make sure you guys hit the little thing right there and it'll send you right to the video beforehand kind of explaining what this is if you guys are new to this I'm just going through the book and journal entries of pretty much the time before I was going to literally commit suicide um, just couldn't take it anymore I'm not sure if you feel the same way or felt the same way I'll always say as a disclaimer if you feel that extreme of a sensation that you kind of feel numb um, definitely seek some help there's emergency hotlines everywhere uh, don't feel embarrassed about that. If anything, message me and, you know, I'll help you out as much as I can. Uh, March 19th, 2020. A friend asked me about my goals, and I asked this question. What do you think is next? He asked this question. What do you think is next? So that question for me is like a number one question in, in everything I've done. Right. What's next? What's next? Where, where's the future? What am I doing? What's next? What's next? And right now we're trying to figure out um, from a business standpoint, what's next uh, here? What's next for Crank? Is it going to be open? What am I going to do? Um, where are we going to be? And, you know, the questions are all up in the air. Right. The, the feelings and emotions are all up in the air and there is zero certainty. And I'm sure we all have our own version of uncertainty at this time so this is what i wrote back to be honest with you i don't think there is a next right now i think i've been living in the next so much that i forget to see what it is i want to see i think through the past years i've seen so many different visions or so many different perspectives of what a gym should look like and be like in order to make money in order to succeed in order to make uh, trips with your family in order to be able to save for college in order to be able to get out and go out and eat These are the things that I was fed to see Right. I was fed to see this big 5,000 square foot 10,000 square foot facility with different motors like different that means different programs uh, Different challenges different camps like a uh, boot camp a mommy camp uh, Athletes gen pop one-on-one -on -one training so different motors in this one big facility, right? This is kind of what the goal was at the time that's what i was fed that's what i saw that is what i believe i wanted quote unquote but as i got closer to getting there the more and more i started to hate it the more and more i started to hate my field the more and more i started to hate going to work it wasn't about people anymore it wasn't about changing lives it wasn't about helping people day to day it became about paying the rent it became about making sure the lights stay on it became about wondering how I'd pay myself out, turning and wondering how I'd pay for my family to live. I was in debt, dealing with things that people don't even want to know about. These are the things people don't even see. And I'm fortunate enough that I'm not that deep anymore, thanks to my support system, my understanding wife. But all the hard work we put in was for nothing. I always looked at what was next. I always looked at what I wanted to see in the gym. And to be honest with you, what I see presently is exactly what I envisioned the entire time. A nice, tight-knit group with people that give a shit. People who will work hard. And people that we don't have to convince to work out. These are the people I want to live with. These are the people that I want to succeed with. These are the people that I want to hang out with for the rest of my life. For whatever's left of it. So to answer, what's next for the gym? I'm not sure. I really don't want to live in the next because right now, I want to live in the now. I guess that's the answer to your question, I hope. I paused for a couple of seconds in this, this piece, right? Because this was the first time I kind of thought about my life as being over, right? And you heard it in this one sentence. These are the people that I want to hang out with for the rest of my life, comma, for whatever's left of it. I guess you could say it's projecting, right? And I never even noticed that until now, until now. It was like the beginning of it where I'm starting to kind of feel an end because when you do set goals, 
right? And goals are great. Never, never underestimate the power of goal setting, right? But it does come to a conclusion, and that's what I've learned very hard, is that a goal always has an end, right? So if I do this and I wanted a, a big gym that was, you know, had graffiti everywhere, we had this many members, and we had this type of program, this program, and I hit it, it's an end. It's just like when someone gets married or um, goes on vacation when they want to lose weight, right? That goal's done. Now what's next? And it's always going to be what's next. Rather than like, why don't we just find out what it is we're doing now? Because there might not be a next. You know, I live the world of next, next, next. And I got to do this and I got to do that. I got to make sure um, my goals get hit. And I was so strong like my feelings and emotions are so strong my work ethic was so strong to hitting all these goals but half the time that i was looking towards these goals i never saw the things that were happening in the present and sure i was there to communicate sure i was there to to hang out with people and talk to them about their problems and there i was always present i was always present in their lives but in my own life it was never enough Right, I moved into this facility that most people didn't even know. Only the people from the beginning knew what Crank looked like from the beginning, right? Crank started literally with six wrestlers that I took in the off season and I put everything into my car and then I went to the stadium and then I just started training them there, right? That's the the foundation of Crank. Then I was in Jersey City and started there and all that, all that other noise. But as I watched it progress, I want to know, was that even my dream? You know, and I say, I believe was my dream. I don't know if that was my dream. I don't know if that was actually my dream or was it me trying to impress the groups that I was a part of. Love them all. Love my mentor. I'll never take anything. He saved my life. My mentors that I look to in... in in that group and as the groups got bigger and there were a bunch of people from all a bunch of gym owners from all over the place all over the, the country and we'd always meet up and i feel like we're always just trying to one-up each other you know always trying to one-up the next and who's got the best next and who's going to do this next which is fantastic for business but is it fantastic for your soul you know it's fantastic for who you are because that was starting to define me you know i was i was a trainer that was the definition of me. That's my identity. I'm Crank Pete. So in that excerpt, in that journal entry, it was just me trying to, trying my best to live in the now. Like trying my best to be present. And right now, in this current moment, the 3.38 p.m. on December 2nd, 2022, I'm living in the present. You know, and it's been, I think, a week of practice, two weeks of practice, and it's getting there. Now, I'm starting to understand it. Start, it starts to pull me back. It starts to get me aligned again, and I feel this different energy that I, I used to feel, you know, but it's not excitement of, like, what am I going to do next, or how am I going to find out about this, or how am I going to press these next people, and how am I going to, no, it's just, what's happening right now? The dryer's on. Got the second load of laundry. What matters right now is that I'm doing this. Right? I'm doing this in front of the record that I hung up onto the wall. In order to achieve nothing. In order to achieve nothing. I'm doing this because I want to. I'm doing this because it feels good to do it. I'm doing this not to increase book sales because I, I sold whatever amount. You can't even find it on Amazon because it's blocked, right? It's blocked because it talks about suicide. It talks about mental health. And, of course, the algorithm doesn't like those words. So, But a good question was asked in that, and what is next? I always feel like you need to have a plan for the next. But you shouldn't change who you are to make that happen. Just because of what other people think or what your parents think of you or what your siblings think of you, or what your spouses think of you. Whatever is going to be next for you has to be for you. And if that means giving to someone else, 
then as long as it's within line to your energy and, and what you are, you're doing and what you want, then that should be what's next. But don't forget about settling down in, in what's happening right now. And if you're watching this right now, take it in. Take a deep breath. Know that you're you're searching for something and you're watching this for a reason, whether it's to learn something or just listen to me talk. Because it just helps you feel at ease. Or there's something I might say that might help you at the end. And if that's what, what happens here, then I'm glad. But until next time, signing out. This signing out. This is Pete. I'm not okay. I'll put a link in the description if you guys actually want to buy it. It'll be down there. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. All right. Have a great weekend. And... Um, Happy December 2nd for whatever December 2nd is to you. Oh, wait. Before I leave, uh, do me a favor and like watch more videos because I'm trying to get monetized on YouTube, and this is real. Right? I'm trying to get monetized on YouTube so I can fucking make some money doing the things that I do and then things that I do love. Right? So with your help, by just leaving the video on and sharing this and making people watch it, I need to get 4,000 hours of watch time. I only have 300 right now for this year, so I'm trying to expand that as much as I can. I have every other mark. I just need that one to make it happen, and then hopefully it does happen. So with your help, if you can, share this video, watch whatever it is. If you're you know, painting the house, press play and just leave it, and then let it run into the next one and find another video and press play. Even if it's from 2008. I think I started making videos like 2006. I forget. So I'll see you guys later. On that note, have a great weekend. Until next time, people. Should I do like an exit, like a walkout exit? Wait. It'll be walking up, actually, not walking out. Okay, no. And then I'll walk down. Here's the intro. Ugh. Ugh. What's going on, everybody? Is that a good intro? All right, cool. Welcome to PE Zips channel. Support by tapping that like button.